you know, you could find someone who was doing something immoral, like, you know, someone who was probably involved in prostitution or, or pornography. And then that person comes to church, is repentant, God has done work, he has changed their heart. And then they come there to witness, to bear witness to the glory of the Lord, to the forgiveness, the true forgiveness of God, that God has forgiven them for their sin, for their sexual immorality. And then they're giving, you know, testimony to the church about how God is good, how God is forgiven them. There are already some people in the benches, in the churches saying, oh, no, I don't think she has changed. Look, I don't think she has changed. She's just saying, look, just give her six months. So you have people in the church saying that that person has not changed, even though they cannot see what's in their heart. Do you see that? They, they, they are already judging a person who is glorifying God for his work, for his power, for, the, for his grace, for his forgiveness. Giving testimony, there are already people in the church, in the benches, saying that that person has not changed. Just give them six months or a year. They will go back and do what they used to do. Why? Because they don't forgive. It is God who forgives. You see, even Paul in the Bible, Paul, a lot of people, every time they see him, they always saw him as that one who was persecuting the church, that one who was fighting the church of Christ. They never even tried to see the work that God has done in him to make him the Paul that he became. If and, in, and, then, and then in case of a person in a church, because they've given him a certain time or her a certain time that, you know, he hasn't changed or she hasn't changed, just give him or her six months, they're going to go back to the sinful life they're using. When they don't change, I mean, when they, they don't go back to their sinful life, when they become even more powerful, when they become even more powerful that they start to reveal things that the pastor couldn't reveal from the word of God, these people become resentful. Look at that. They become resentful because now God is using a great sinner, a sinner whom everyone knew that they were a great sinner, to reveal greater things that God did not reveal in them. They become resentful towards God. And they're starting to say, how can God do all these things through her or through him, a known common criminal or a known common prostitute or, or, a, or a person who used to do pornography and all that? Why couldn't God do it in us? You see, they even become hateful towards God. God, how can God do this? We have been in this church for years. And now it is even in the Bible. Remember the story of the you know, the, the, the prodigal son, the prodigal son who wanted his inheritance from his father so he can go out and spend it with harlots and prostitutes and drunkards and all that. And he blows all his inheritance and he comes back and the father forgives him. Not only does the father forgive him, the father takes him back as his son. While the son saw the error of his words, was repentant, was remorseful, that he didn't want to be his own father's son anymore. He just wanted to be a servant. Guess what happened to the son who was claiming to be righteous, who was acting like he loved his father, that he really loved his father. But what we do see is that this son who did not go away, who was looking after his father's well, he was looking at his father's goods. Really, all he wanted was his father's goods. He never really wanted his father. He never really wanted the love of his father. He never really, because he was angry when the, his father took back his own brother. How can you not be happy when God is forgiving another human being? When God is bringing back a lost child into the kingdom, how can you not be happy? The reason why you're not happy is because possibly you are not a child of God. You see, you were just acting. But those sinners are son of the kingdom. They are not acting. They are living their life the way that they want to live it. But when they do change, they do change for real. But you have never seen yourself as a sinful person who needs forgiveness from God. You saw yourself as a person who is deserving of forgiveness, who is deserving of all good things from God. So that when God does good to those who have just repented for a while ago, God starts to do great things through them. You are angry that God cannot be doing this good and great things through a person who has just only repented two years ago. I've been in the church for 15 years and God has never revealed anything to me. Do you see that? So it is God who truly forgives. Man doesn't truly forgive. If you've done something wrong to them, they still have that image of you being a thief. They still have that image of you being a prostitute. They never remove it from their mind. 